Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I want to talk about one important topic uh, that is with respect to uh, PVCC DMRS. We will see the allocations, uh, what are the differences between uh, 4G and 5G, and also in case of 5G, especially we will talk about uh, uh, you know what is the difference between mapping type A and mapping type B, and uh, all the related concepts I will try to explain uh, in this video. Okay, uh, then. Uh, so I will get into the concept uh, without uh, without uh, wasting the time. So in case of uh, 4G, so let's say for, for, for let's say we'll take 14 symbols uh, uh, in one slot, right? Uh, so then the DMRS locations were actually the DMRS location three and ten. So in case of 4G, as you can see, the symbol uh, three and uh, symbol ten. Okay. So the DMRS allocations are there. Especially, this is one slot, uh, of 14 symbols. Uh, uh, so, in the previous videos, uh, even with respect to this one, I have done one mistake. That is, I am starting with symbol zero. Okay, so 14 symbols means I should have only symbol 13. So, this last one will not be there. So, in even in earlier cases, if it is there, please uh, uh, you can uh, modify that. Okay, anyway, right now I have uh, deleted that. So, symbol 3 and symbol 10, if you see like 14 symbols, if you divide it off, uh, then it will come at this point, right, exactly off. Now, if you see, you know, in the first 7 symbol, the DMRS is located at the center. And even uh, in the second uh, 7 uh, symbols, um, from 7 to 13, uh, this is present at the center. So, this was uh, pretty much a static configuration and... Um, what I would say the, the support was uh, in case of subs, in case of 4G the support was up to uh, 120 km per hour okay only that much was uh, supported as per the GPP specification but uh, now coming to 5G okay so in case of 5G um, so this is 5G in case of 5G almost uh, Almost all the configurations are made flexible, not only with respect to DMRS, with respect to many other aspects. Uh, so, in regarding DMRS allocations as well, it was made flexible, and and uh, we have uh, uh, more uh, uh, configurations with respect to DMRS allocations. So, with respect to that, there are two types of uh, uh, things in case of. Uh, uh, okay, I will write down here. Please, uh, please see at this particular tab. So there are uh, two types, one is mapping type uh, A and another one is mapping type B. Okay. So, um, first we will see mapping type A. Uh, so we will try to see from the uh, specification and we will try to see what is uh, given as mapping type A. So, yeah, this is from the specification. Okay. I have directly opened uh, the table. Uh, as you can see, this is 38211 uh, version 16.2. 16 so, in this specification, as you can see, this is a single symbol DMRS and within intra slot frequency are being disabled. Okay. So, in this case, number of uh, QACH symbols, you can see there is less than 4, it's not there for mapping type A, but, but for mapping type B, it is there. I will come to that point. So, so there is a column for mapping type A and mapping type B and there is one more extra parameter that is uh, introduced with respect to position, okay, which means that uh, by default there will be always one DMRS that is position 0, but on top of it if you want extra DMRS that will be defined by position 1. Here extra 1 DMRS will be there, 2 DMRS extra, 3 DMRS extra. So, okay, default 1 DMRS plus 3 DMRS extra means total will have 4 DMRS. And depending upon the number of symbols, uh, this would vary. Okay, number of uh, symbols uh, would, uh, number of DMRS symbols would vary. So, we have, um, you know, number of PSH symbols from 4 to 14. Okay, so now we will try to take PSH mapping type A. And uh, I would, do, since, uh, okay, I would take uh, 12 symbols, okay, 12 symbols, and I will take uh, L069. So I will uh, go back to the grid. Mm, 
yeah so the thing is that um, in case of uh, uh, mapping type uh, a so it was mentioned uh, uh, that um, l069 okay so l0 was mentioned uh, i will write it uh, uh, here uh, l0 was mentioned but l0 as per specification it is given by either 2 or 3 okay that is for mapping type uh, uh, a so i will consider for now 2 okay to, for where i have allocated the dmrs okay 2 i have allocated first let me let me you know first let me do one thing first uh, for 12 symbols i will allocate the dsh okay last two symbols there is no uh, data this is how this will be allocated now the thing is um, i have to allocate the dmrs so the dmrs will come over here then as per specification it is 6 and 9 so 6 and 9 so that's how the, the DMRS actually uh, you know locations will, will, will appear in case of uh, mapping type A so you can see that uh, the DMRS versions are uh, flexible okay so here from the, in, in the spec uh, we need to understand one more very important concept that is see L0 right uh, this L0 um, this L0 is nothing all these values okay all this value represent the index uh, the symbol index but uh, this will start from uh, this will actually start from what is called as uh, start uh, symbol so even though number of symbols is equal to 12 uh, you can what is the possibility the start symbol can be 0 or the start symbol can be 1 right or the start symbol can be 2 so if the start symbol is 2 then l0 means um, l0 is equal to 2 so what we have to do at the fourth index uh, this would come into picture so let me try to give uh, the picturization of that over here um, so first what i will do I will replicate uh, uh, in this uh, okay so here I will replicate now the thing is I was telling uh, the start symbol so start symbol is 2 so this is the start symbol okay so which means that uh, you will have data okay first what I will do I will uh, allocate data so since start symbol is 2 number of symbols uh, is equal to 12 so this is how the data will be occupied now you need to allocate the dmrs positions so it says 2 right 2 means start symbol 2 plus so your dmrs locations will be here then 6 plus 2 8 here then 9 plus 2 11 here so this is how the dmrs uh, locations will come so so please note that uh, from the spec I think uh, this is uh, clear from uh, so this uh, this will be applicable to both mapping type A and mapping type B. Now we will get into the concept of uh, uh, mapping type uh, B. Okay, so I will take and I will uh, uh, allocate uh, data across all the 14 symbols. Okay, so maybe I will take a simplistic one. Uh, what I will do? Uh, let me get back to the specification. Uh, mapping type B. I will take just. Uh, Okay, I will just take uh, seven symbols. All right. So coming back here, seven symbols means um, so since the index is zero, seven symbols means it will be occupied till this point only. Now the DMRS locations. Where, where do we have DMRS locations? The very first symbol will have the DMRS location in case of mapping type B. Okay, I am going to write it the year. So here uh, L0 is equal to 0 as per the specification. So let me get back to the specification. This mapping type B L0 is equal to 0. And I am talking about uh, 7, right? So I'm talking about uh, 7, which means L0 4. So L0 and 4 uh, index 4. So index 4. In this case what I have done is like I have taken the starting symbol as 0 that's why uh, 
that's why 0 and 4 I have, I have to place the DMRS okay so why uh, you know it's it's specified that uh, you know L0 is equal to 0 so so why the first symbol will appear uh, as a DMRS in case of mapping deadly the main use case is that uh, it is uh, you are uh, LLC which means ultra reliable low latency communication for that purpose so very low latency uh, uh, devices would be actually uh, will be using this kind of uh, allocation and the thing is that since it is a low latency we need to decode the data much faster so if the DMRS is given in the very first symbol then the channel estimate can be done uh, channel estimation can be finished much faster and and further the data decoding can happen much faster that is the um, use case uh, for this uh, mapping type B and also you can see like uh, um, the number of PVSH data symbols here I had considered how much till 7 symbols only right which means that uh, these are all like um, low low data rate devices basically uh, low latency devices and um, low data rate devices or like high IoT devices so that is the application for which uh, this kind of mapping is used uh, so here we can configure a, a very less number of symbols um, and even even if, if you see uh, the number of symbols is just uh, we can configure two as well so let me get back to the specification i was mentioning that i will tell about this one so if you see here on the first row less than four even if you see in the mapping type b there is a possibility for allocation okay so we can allocate just two symbols in which one symbol will be dmrs um, because of a, a low data rate uh, kind of applications or devices but in mapping type A since it is not addressing uh, the, the uh, IoT devices uh, less than 4 usually uh, there is no allocation uh, I hope you got the clarity um, so what are the related concepts which I want to talk here so if you see here why do we need more and more DMRS like in case of 4G there were only two DMRS uh, right but now here there is a 3 DMRS there is a 4 DMRS as well so what is the reason okay so the thing is that uh, in case of 5G okay so 5G uh, so let me come back here so in case of 4G what was uh, the speed 120 km per hour but what about the speed in case of 5G supported up to 500 km per hour okay so targeting for high speed bullet trains so so that is the kind of applications so if you see uh, in case of 4g um, so so the, the the change in the channel from for about you know for about let's say seven symbols for about seven symbols uh, it is expected that at least for the seven symbol the channel is constant after seven symbols it can change so that's why you know one the dmrs was given in uh, for, within the first seven symbols another dmrs was given in the next seven symbols but in case of uh, 500 km per hour and, and as well as even we are actually moving with uh, millimeter waves right so since we are moving with millimeter waves uh, your doppler is also very sensitive with this uh, center frequency and that's why your doppler will also increase and as a result of which uh, your uh, coherence time okay which one will decide uh, that the channel is constant for this, these many symbols so basically the coherence time tc okay i'm writing at the top so coherence time this is the one which will decide that uh, for how much duration the channel will be constant okay so this coherence time uh, i will i will i will try to come up uh, uh, the equations with coherence time this doppler and then how to calculate uh, how many for how many symbols the channel is constant and things like that in the next video but right now you try to understand that uh, this coherence time um, here is seven symbols okay seven symbols uh, work whereas in case of very high speed and uh, in the millimeter waves there is a possibility that uh, the symbol can change every every you know three symbols okay so in which case uh, we might need uh, we would need uh, more dmrs so for that what i will do i will first uh, uh, take the condition for a high, high speed scenario let's say i will consider 14 symbols so five i, I will consider this one five eight eleven okay so this L0 will be um, 2 or 3. So this 
so now i have to allocate my uh, dmrs so i will take 2 then 5 8 11 can you see so i was telling that uh, the coherence time is very less in which case uh, we can expect that the, the, the dmrs can change within this uh, three symbols so in which case uh, within this uh, three symbols we have one dmrs where we can estimate the channel and we can use it uh, to decode the data in the symbol numbers 1 and 0 similarly 5 can be used similarly 8 can be used for this one uh, this can be used uh, on both the sides okay but like like we can also go for many interpolation uh, techniques where we can actually uh, uh, you know between these two dmrs uh, between this one and between this one these two dmrs uh, we can do a kind of interpolation and we can get much better some estimates uh, uh, on these uh, OMDM data symbols okay uh, I, I hope you got the clarity with respect to why we have more dmrs and why why we need a flexible dmrs scheme in case of 5g so um, i will try to bring the concept of uh, coherence time and uh, coherence time and how many symbols uh, for how many symbols the channel will be constant and all in the upcoming video please stay tuned uh, with this uh, i would like to wind up the video thank you very much uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel have a great day bye, -bye.